What's up everyone and welcome back to the S3 Power Sports Shop where as you can see I'm already elbows deep and changing the oil in this k and Defender. So the next step is to go out, get your favorite XPS oil, let's get this bad boy lubed up. I don't know if you was watching but I caught that oil out of thin air. I think I missed it. It's pretty amazing. So few people know, but oil is like the blood of your engine. And without blood, this thing will not run. But Manny Fresh, our resident expert, is gonna tell you what we got going on here right in front of me that's gonna help us get that done. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to use the XPS engine oil change kit. We're gonna use a few simple hand tools like our 13 millimeter to get the drain plug, an eight millimeter to get the oil filter cap. Now everything inside this box is what you're gonna to need to get the job done. It comes with a new oil filter, some gaskets, O-rings, and the right amount of fluid to get it done correctly. XPS just released these oil change kits, and what's crazy, they don't even give you full quarts of oil, they give you the exact right amount portioned out to fill this motor up. You don't even have to think, you don't have to do no complicated math. It comes with everything. Manny doesn't have to do any work, basically, except put the oil in the motor and it's done. So today on the Can-Am Defender, we're gonna change the oil. I like working with a lot of room if I can. Luckily for us, this bed right here is detachable from the shock absorber that holds it up. Lifting this handle, we'll be able to raise the bed, and get access to where we need to be. Just by pulling the safety pin, pull it out, and go ahead and lean her back. So on this particular engine, your oil filter's inside the motor. To locate that, you're gonna move to the passenger side of the vehicle and look on the side of the motor towards the front of the vehicle. That's where you're gonna find the cap where the oil filter's inside of. So we're gonna get the oil out of the motor first, drain it, and then we'll put it back in. So the 13 millimeter drain plug is going to be located about three quarters of the way down the vehicle, center line with your motor straight down. Now when you're up under here, you're going to have a whole bunch of holes in your skid plate, but you want to locate the one that's directly underneath the motor, that's where your drain plug will be. When you're pulling your drain plug out, it's kind of tricky to tell, but there is an O-ring on it. If you're using the XPS kit, it's going to have a new washer, so go ahead and install it on the drain plug. Also you want to get all the, the metal shavings and gunk out of here, and now go ahead and torque your drain plug to spec. Once you get your three eight millimeter bolts out of the way, you can go ahead and pull on the oil cover. So one thing you need to make sure of is that the filter didn't come apart. Sometimes the caps stay on there, sometimes they come loose and they get hung up inside your oil filter cap. Just wanna make sure that it's not hung up in there and didn't stay in there. You need to lube up this O-ring that's on the end right here. This is gonna slide over the shaft that's on the case. All right, so now you can take your oil filter and stick it inside your cap. Make sure it's nice and snug and we'll go ahead and slide it on the case. Go ahead and grab your three eight millimeter bolts, stick them back in there and then tighten them down. So now it's time to put the oil back in it. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up to the mark on the dipstick and then run the motor and get it to operating temperature or let it idle for a few minutes. And then we wanna recheck it again, make sure everything's right. So after your motor's heat cycle and you get it up to operating temperature or let it idle for a few minutes, we'll go ahead and top it off to the line on the dipstick and then you're ready to go. Manny, you remember the time I caught that oil? Remember that time I caught that oil? Oh, dang. All right, so that's Manny walking you through changing the oil on this Can-Am Defender. You guys already know, you need to go like this video, but you can also subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we're gonna keep showing you all the ways we get it done.